What's up, everybody? Jason here for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com. Jaspies 11 box, stiff arm, football mixer just sold out, which was a random teens break. Plus, we're giving away two assigned mini helmets as a giveaway for buying into this. So if you either want a spot on a filler or you bought in straight up, you have a chance to win this little Tua mini helmet, which is right here. It's from Fanatics. Has the autograph there, COA, all that good stuff right there. Leaving you guys this little angle view there. And again, the way this works, guys, is you get a random team in the NFL. Remember, no veteran common ship. And at the end of the break, we'll randomize customer names and see who wins that two-mini helmet. Nick's right here breaking open the boxes to give us a little head start. This uh, mixer includes a box of Prism 2020 No Huddle, 2019 Optic First Off the Line, a 2013 Prism Hobby Box, all the way down to UD Great com uh, Conference Greats, which, again, we will go by uh, college rules for any of the autos uh, that we pull out of there. And then Autograph Leaf Helmet, same thing, college rules, unless there's an NFL logo, NFL team affiliated with the mini helmet. It's college, then college rules, and TriStar as well. So, here's a dice roller. Here's the customer name. So Tyler from John got those spots straight up, and then Joseph from Mosaic Hanger 39 all the way down to Mosaic Hanger 41, which actually was Prism Hanger, but anything 41, of course, was a Prism Hanger. Last filler we just did. So there you go. And then here's the teams. Boom. So let's roll the dice, and we got ourselves a one and a two three times. Got some low rolls lately. Three times, good luck. One, two, and three. Boom. Brett Rogers down to Brian Croft. That's funny when you're talking like, yeah, it's a little dice. I know, that doesn't sound like it was part of your click over there. <laughs> I mean, they go into Matter Day. I'm like, yeah, Matter Day, dog. Three times. One, two, Three. He's like, yeah, I've never played it. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I expected to. Like, dude, isn't that private school? <laughs> it is, yeah, it's like a Catholic school. Giants out of the Eagles. Like Brian James on there. Yeah. Well, it's like he said, it is kind of like USC. It's like in a bad neighborhood, but yeah. Private. All right, so yeah, let me make sure. Three, 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 boom. Brad Rogers, you have the Giants. Uh, Jose with the Panthers. Corey with the Dolphins. Dean with the Bucks. Anthony with the Chiefs. Ryan with the Cowboys, Dean with the Cardinals, Tyler with the Colts as well as the Lions, David Rodriguez, you have the Ravens, Kenny uh, watching the football team, Joseph F. with the Titans, John McCall, you have the Bills, Aaron with the Bengals, Steve with the Rams, Brett Rogers with the Vikings, Tyler with the Steelers, Anthony P. with the Packers, Christian Collins with the Patriots, Charles with the Texans, Jason with the Browns, Gregory with the Bears, Ryan Harrell with the Broncos, Tim with the Seahawks, Christian with the Falcons, Anthony with the Saints, Reed with the Jaguars, Corey with the Chargers, Matthew with the 49ers, Bill with the Raiders, Jane with the Jets and Brian Kropp with my Eagles. So there you go. And again, this is a mixer and it has multiple years, guys, dating back to like 2013. So um, a lot of different teams, of course, can have some value depending on the box uh, we're ripping at the time. But the break itself, of course, has good value. So yeah, if we look back at the boxes, 2020, of course, this draft class, 2019, last year's 2013, another 19, 18. So 19, 18, 20, and then of course back to 13 and 14. So there you go. Yeah, yeah, we'll go college road, yeah. If it's collegiate, yeah, it would have to be the team he played for the longest, right? Well, see, that's the thing, right? So there's no checklist, so if Odell comes out, then that would go to the Browns, because that's where it's early on, yeah. So it's current players, anyways. I think Dante Moncrief was with the Colts first. He's with the Colts first, and then Jacksonville, and then... Yeah. But I want to say... Um, I want to say... Uh, yeah, I don't know if he's active right now. So he'd go to the Colts, since he played that Yeah, he has a... He's got a team now. 2020, what is that, New England? Oh, he's on with the Patriots, actually. Aww. He's currently with the Patriots. Yeah, that's what it shows. Currently with the Patriots in 2020. Dude, that was only 27. Wow. He's still pretty young, actually. Yeah, he played with the Colts for the longest. Four years, one year with Carolina, one year with Jacksonville. Patriots now. Actually, sorry. Is he still with them? Yeah, he's with the Patriots. Yeah, this UD Conference greats right here. Dante Moncrief, box topper. That'll be going to the um, Patriots.
Guess not, Ryan. I guess you're just gonna have to keep up the Drew Locks you get. I don't know what the what rookies were in 2018. Your uh, Portland Suttons, that's right. Portland Suttons, and you get to keep your uh, no fan, and you get to keep this year's draft picks as well. All right, let's fill the trade window, guys. Maybe a Peyton Manning auto in 2013 prison. True. Or, uh, it's first year prison, isn't it? Second year. Second year, that's or, right. Uh, silver, maybe? He's yeah, silver, Peyton Manning, 2013. Probably like this time. Yeah, probably. So there you go. That's a block tower from UD Greats. You know what? It's there. his first round of prison. That's true. Yeah. 2012, I think he's still with Andrew. Yeah, that was the last. Well, that was a year, yeah. So he dropped the Andrew Luck. Maybe 2012. Alright, so again, this is no checklist. So, if we hit any autos, which we just did. Ooh, nice. We got Jarvis Landry relic. I'm going to go to Cleveland Brown. So Landry will go to the Browns. Let me just tag that right now. Yeah, it was. Stiff armed a little bit of Malcolm Jenkins. Yeah. Doug Johnson, Green. Moncrief, Cornelius Bennett. Bruce Ellington. Ronnie Hampton, Daryl Walker, Victor Hampton, USC UCLA. I know it ended really well. Now all of a sudden UCLA is not bad. Yeah. So Washington was supposed to play against Oregon, but they have COVID, like the whole team. Yeah. So they canceled it, and since that, that would automatically get them the bid to be in the. the Pac-12 uh, championship game against USC, but since they can't even play against USC this week for the Pac-12 championship, Oregon's gonna play now. I guess so anyone who's gonna win the Pac-12 championship. Well, Oregon's representing the North now. Oh, right. So like that last week's game would have been whoever would have won the North, yes. Washington, Oregon, but they canceled it. So then they gave Washington by default because they have a better team or better. Uh, I think they're undefeated probably or something. So they play USC, but now they can't even still play this week because they don't have enough players. So, Oregon has to represent them now. They play USC on Friday, I think. Aaron Murray. USC's undefeated, right? Yeah, they're undefeated, so. Did you see Arizona State, Arizona? No, but I... It was 72 I heard, yeah, I heard they got blown out. Um, Herb Edwards was like, it's not having so many breaks. <laughs> 72 points. <laughs> so wild. And they ran the score up, basically. Out of nowhere. Dude, Joe scared the hell out of me earlier. He's like, what are we doing here? I'm like, what? <laughs> he had a combo with these five. Blockchain definitely, right? He, well, these five are all being comboed into two. And Maybe, Brian. I mean, Oregon's lost a couple players due to uh, injury, but more because they just opted out before the season started. But you never know. SC's had some close games. But I don't know. I'm not, I'm not even saying that just for Oregon, but it just feels college football just feels so weird this year. I feel like you can't really see. Who, whoa, Alan Young, DT. You have to look that guy up. Is that an auto? Yeah, it's like you can't even see it though. It's like gold. I wish it was like NFL where like teams actually weren't just canceled. I think it's Cowboys. You think so? All right, let's see, Cowboys. Some of these guys actually, um, like some some of them didn't even make it to the league. Maybe this guy did though. No Alan Young in Pro Football Perfins. A reference are. Where did he go to school? Vanderbilt? We'll look that up, guys. If not, that'll be a randomizer.
Michael Sam. He's an investment banker. He's an investment banker now. He's an investment banker? Yeah. S Michael Sam or? <laughs> no. Alan Alan Young. Young. Oh, I was like, what? He played for the Scottish Claymores. <laughs> yeah, he probably didn't make it to the league. So I guess I'll go to number two on the random. Alright. So yeah, we'll randomize this and we'll yeah, go to number two. I thought you said Michael <laughs> Sam was moving. I was like, what a good, I was like, that's good for him, mortgage banker. Dude, you probably sell a lot of cards or whatever. Right yeah. Oh. Philip Fulmer. I pulled so much of him in 2015. Yeah. Moments. Trey Burton. Rams. Yeah, and then he got signed by the Cowboys later that year. Yeah. But he was at the rookie premiere, so he was in every province. So sad, man. He doesn't say anything. Probably like get dropped hard. He's a defensive player that. Yeah, he was good. At Missouri. Man, that's old school right here. Wow, look at that Manti Tail. <laughs> Silver rookie. Let's go look at this Sean. Yeah. <laughs> Geno Smith, the rookie. I'm at that tail, man. Geno yeah, Smith is still elite. Yeah. He entered the game last week. Or he was. He plays a. Uh, yeah, that's right. <coughs> Xavier Rhodes, Tyler Eifert. Tyler Eifert. He plays in the Seahawks. Tyler Eifert does not. No, uh, Geno. Yeah, he's the backup now, right? Yeah. I thought they had that dude from TCU who I thought was gonna be there, Traylon Boykin. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he got caught with like drugs or something. Yeah. You see Josh Gordon might come back this year? Yeah, he got reinstated, didn't he, last yeah. week? Yeah. And I feel like so bad for the dude. He just gets popped for everything. Every year. Yeah, but that's not fair because everybody else now can just smoke it. And he's not going to get in trouble. And they get away with it. Stedman um, Bailey, this guy got shot. Marcus Whedon. Alden Smith, though, is back to Dallas. Oh, he got suspended? No, but he's oh. just back in the Chris Ivory. Yeah, no, he is. He's actually doing pretty well for he them. He had a touchdown yesterday. Good for him. I think Deion Jordan had some problems with like drugs. Yeah, he was like performance enhancing. Like they were saying he was gonna Yeah. Because of Chip Kelly. Mm -hmm. he yeah, it just sucks. I think he had a lot of like problems with like um I don't know if it was prescription or something, I don't know if it was. Yeah, that's like Trey Mason. He was like missing for Dude, remember that? But it was like concussions, which is so yeah. sad. Like he didn't know where he was at. Yeah, Chip Ronnie Bernard. His family didn't see him for like a while. And he's still in the team. Tail girlfriend relic? I know, actually, that was my wild. That was the wildest like thing I've ever heard. Like, he had a girlfriend, but then he did it. <laughs> yeah. Quinn Patton. Whoa. Is this this what I think it is? Wow. Colin Kaepernick, Prism autograph. Forty Niners. See that Colin Kaepernick autograph? He sells well, actually. Yeah. Cap. There you go. Is that the year they made Super Bowl? 2012 13, one of those years, huh? Alright, so Cap, that's gonna go to um, 49ers, Matthew. Luke Jokel, Aaron Dobson. And Michael Rivera, tight end for the Raiders. Cards are so stuck to each other, guys. Sorry. Rookie autograph. Mike Gillisley. EJ Manuel. Man, that dude was the number one, number one quarterback taken off the board. Stephen Bailey. Anti Tail. Jawan Jamison. Eddie Lacy. Cheeseburger, Eddie Lacy. Aaron Dobson, Cordero Patterson, rookie. Man, some of these cards are so stuck to each other. A silver DJ Hayden. Man, silvers in back then popped so much. That's why I love the 2020 silvers. They really, really pop. Matt Barkley, rookie. That dude was a beast.
So yeah. And Gino Smith. Let's go to the next one, guys. So it looks like this is certified right here. So that's another box. Looks like we got some limited. And we got some 2918 limited. So we'll just do these three first. How about a little gold? Gold. 7 out of 25. Out of 99, Kenyon Drake. And Bryce Love, look at that patch auto to 199. Out of 99, Christian Wilkins. Tom Rapman. 50, uh, out of 55. The 49ers. Yes, Rex, but I'm starting to wind down. 27. I'm going to turn 28 on, on Christmas. Can't believe it. Out of 450, Cortland Sutton. Cooper Cup relic. Adam Vinatieri. Two ninety nine. Greedy Williams. Kyler Murray. What a relic here. Rookie relic. What a Patty Mahomes. Nice Arturo. Yeah, man. My birthday's on the twenty fifth. Uh, my wife is the next day. She's December 26th. My grandpa had just passed away a couple years back. His birthday was the 27th. And then Nick Jaspi's on, I think, the 30th of this month. A lot of December babies. Devontae Parker, Patty Mahomes base, and Ryan Finley. Bengals. Actually, the quarterback right now for them, right? At a 75. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, well, yeah, I think I was a little... I think I might have been 22, 22 going on 23, probably, actually. Thinking about it now. So, I was 22, yeah. Definitely. Honestly, Rex, I didn't know, man. Um, after high school, I mean, I went to went to a community college just for a little bit, but I just, I really had just decided not to really go. It wasn't really for me, and I just figured, try to get something in sports somehow. Um, and right after high school, like, doing my first year at community college, I just, I started going to trade shows, like, you know, Frank and Sons, local car shops, uh, working for somebody that, you know, of course, is in this business and helping them sort out their stuff, selling their stuff. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. You know, just really getting my hands into the hobby right out of high school when I was like 18, 19. Then I got connected with Jazby's. Yeah, like around 22. I was working there for like two, three years. And yeah, I just thought it was the craziest thing in the world when I first found out what breaking was. Miles Boykins right there. I just thought this is such a great idea. Why didn't I hear about this before? Mac Wilson. And uh, yeah, since pretty much 2015 and on in here there's a little obviously a little stretch there where i wasn't here doing my own thing but it all worked off on my way back over here all right this is a 2020 limited i believe guys 
Or maybe not. This is 2018. Wow. Wow. Look at what a hit. 128 out of 199. Three color patch and autograph. Josh Allen. John McCall, Last Spot Mojo, Bills. Woo. Look at that. Out of a nice little mixer. Very, very nice. Very nice. Zach Ertz out of 10. Yeah, no, definitely. For sure, Rex. Um, like I said, I mean, you know, I, mean, I met you when I was just sorter. You know what I mean? I was just sorting and shipping. I just remember I got a call. And, hey, man. Uh, there's a partner that they had here at one time. It was just like, got a small little small little thing going on. Need some help. If you'd like to help out. I'm like, sure. Why not? I can sort. I can do stuff like that. And then ended up just getting hired with Jaspies. And then shortly after that, it wanted me to break. But I was just very nervous. Didn't want to do it. Didn't want to be on camera. But I grew out of that shell. Did hockey then. Ten book breaks, main channel, whatever the case is. And yeah, it's really fun, man. Definitely don't take anything for granted and try to work as hard as I can. To hopefully continue to do this for a very long time. That's right, Rex. Yeah. I mean, I mean, think about it, guys. We were. <laughs> When I first started working with Jazz, we were breaking out of Bossman Mike's garage. <laughs> you know, we made it look so nice that you wouldn't think it was in a garage. We were always calling it office space and stuff. And, and then at the time, we just didn't want people to know we were working somewhere at a location that obviously you can easily potentially, like, you know, you could break into at the time, right? You don't want people to know that you're doing this at home, but it's wild. <laughs> I remember we still talk about it to this day, sorting on, like, Bossman Mike's kitchen counter. On the, t on the top floor right there here in Redondo and then like you know breaking down at the other studio in the garage and then getting our small little retail store more just for office spaces for us to break AJ Brown and yeah that was the first year we all went to national together me Joe cause like Joe was really just hired on like right before me honestly I think he was hired on like 2014 around like October he was practicing with like Nick you know, to do the breaking part of it. And I think he started full-time breaking November, December of 2014. And then I probably joined on like, what, like early February, early March or so around there. It's just a couple months after. Clay Matthews. Yeah, no, I remember when we first met you too. Yeah, those those uh, passes are kind of expensive, especially the ones we had. You could be backstage everything. Jr. No problem, man. Congrats. Yeah, nationals is really fun. If you guys can ever go to the national, guys, it's really really cool. I mean, if you love sports cars, you're never gonna want to leave. Just go with a big big wallet if you can, of course. Have a good, good amount saved up for yourself so that way you don't have to feel bad or feel upset that you can't spend too much. From the autograph signings to the breaker pavilion now to, you know, uh, just walking the floor area, just something else. Michael Thomas. Anthony Miller, 2018 certified. Right now? Donovan McNabb. That's right. No, we're done already. I'm done with this. 
Juan Alexander. Jermaine Edmonds. What'd you say? Great Iron Signatures. Pull the customer's what? Oh. Well, it's already done, man. For the next one. That was uh, Rock Thomas for the Vikings. Sam Darnold. Aaron Rodgers. Oh, but the what's that? Was uh you also your oh your family was there, Rex? I didn't really. Oh my god! Wow, what a great two boxes for 2018, guys. Look at that, Baker Mayfield. Two color patch and autograph. First we get a Josh Allen, and now we get a Baker Mayfield in this box. Yeah. I didn't realize I didn't realize your your family was there, Rex. I thought you came by yourself for some reason. <laughs> All right, guys, so just two more blocks of this. That's the first off the line, 2019. We have the 2020 Prism um, uh, No Huddle. And then we still have the two hel the helmet, sorry, and the football jersey here as well. Let's actually just do this first off the line. I'm kind of more excited to see this. Let's do it. Good luck. How about Alexander Matheson to start us off? Ben Bagnew. Gotcha. There you go. And you're like, I know right where I need to go. Minnesota Vikings with that one. Out of 60. Indianapolis Colts. Tyler. And Lonnie Johnson to 50. Lonnie Johnson Jr. for the Houston Texans. Charles with that one. Oh, yeah, a customer sent me that. Pulling him some fire on Instagram. Alrighty, guys. Last, I guess, hobby box, and then the rest over there, helmet and jersey. Fireworks here, Devin Duvernay, Patty Mahomes, and a Clyde Edwards Elair negative. We go, Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, well, I mean, with the vaccine potentially coming out early this year, I think. I think, to be honest, by the end of next by the end of next year, I think we should all be pretty good, strong. Obviously, that depends if nothing ever really ha nothing happens, goes bad or something. But I mean, the Nationals still could be on track because it is not until like August, so there is time. But Cam Akers, I guess we'll have to wait and see, right? T.J. Hawkinson. But yeah, usually when we go to Chicago, we usually me, Nick, and oh, my friend actually used to work with this year. The years we went to Chicago, we always went to go see a Cubs game. The one we wanted to go to is go see the Chicago White Sox. We've never been to that stadium, but. Pink Bryce Love. Out of 15. Patty Mahomes. Yeah, with the moment right there. Yeah. You took Gross Matos. Right on the top of this. Like a whole case? Just a box. Utah Gross Matos, that is Carolina Panthers. Jose. And Denzel Mims, color rookie. Out of 50. Zach Moss. J.K. Dobbins. Got a little C.D. Lamb. Raheem Moster. 
And we got AJ Pensa. Joey B. CJ Henderson Disco. Minkovitz Patrick. And Isaiah Simmons. Is this 14 box? No, this is 11 boxes, Ryan. And then technically it's what? Nine hobby, nine boxes of, of cards at least. Well, look, Ryan. Either you win the Tua, you get a nice jersey or, or a mini helmet. We'll see, man. Alright, let's go with the mini helmet first, guys. Right, just because it's late. Let's see if anybody wants to guess this mini helmet. It is an Indianapolis Colt. Any guesses? Old school Colt as well. Lenny Moore. Easy to figure out right there. Indianapolis Colts. Usually, well, this is, not, this is Leaf, actually. Usually, they give you a little index card. But there you go, Lenny Moore. Indianapolis Colts. Tyler with that one. Very nice. That's a Hall of Famer right there. All right, and the last box, guys. Good luck. Autograph jersey. Let's see if I can get the little paper first. Ooh, okay. This is a good one. So... I, uh, I was part of the 2012 U.S. Army All-American Bowl. I was a 2014 second-team All-Big Ten player. A 2015 uh, Power Football Focus All-Rookie Team. I was drafted by the Minnesota Vikings. And, of course, everybody remembers this. Scored the winning touchdown as time expired in the 2000, uh, 2017 NFC Divisional round uh, playoff round game known as the Minneapolis Miracle. Who am I, guys? Who is this? Got it. Now, yes, Ryan, you got it. But I don't know. Is this a Viking or is this a Bill? <laughs> Because he is currently with the Bills. So if it's collegiate, it's going to go to the Bills. If it's Viking colors, purple, it's going to go to the Vikings. And... Nope, it's Vikings. Minnesota Vikings colors. You can see it right there. That's also purple. So there you go. Looks like you have a little COA right there. JSA and Total Sports. There's the autograph. Digs. So I don't know. If, I, this might be custom. Who knows? I don't know. But it is Minnesota Vikings, as you can see. Right there. Minnesota Vikings with this one. That is Brett Rogers. Yes. Brett Rogers. There you go, man. 
And alrighty, guys. Well, there you go. That was the break. But again. But wait, there's more. You guys have a chance to win something extra, something for the first time, depending if you haven't hit much. Uh, so good luck, guys. So number one's gonna win the Tua Toga by Low Mini Helmet from Fanatics that we got. Uh, it has the COA as well. Oh, where's it at? It does Fanatics right there. I should have a COA somewhere else here. There you go. A little Tua Toga by Low. So number one gets this, and number two's gonna get this Allen Young, which not affiliated with any NFL team. A college player right there. So number one, two. And of course, one of the bigger hits we got here was this Josh Allen patch auto for the Bills. Switch scenes, guys. Actually, sorry. Let me quickly actually show you guys some other hits we got here that are top level. Yuto Gross Mathus was one of the autographs out of the prison box. We got some colors. That's a Clyde Ozeeler, Lonnie Johnson auto, Bagno, Alexander Matheson, little Baker Mayfield freshman fabrics patch auto as well. We got a Rock Thomas, Tom Ratman, little Bryce Love patch auto, Colin Kaepernick autograph, Manti Tail Silver, Aaron Murray relic. This goes to Cleveland for Jarvis Landry relic. Little Ryan Finley, out of 75 Tom Brady base. We got a Miles Boykin, Mac Wilson auto, DJ Moore relic, Chad Thomas, and uh. Besides the Josh Allen, of course. Some other colors. Relics. Right there, AJ Brown relic. And then we have a huge stack right here that will be top loaded as well. Burrow base in there. Some rookies from back in the day. Kyler Murray relic rookie. Old school there. So there you go, guys. Little mixer here for this uh, Monday night. So here's a dice roller. Here's the customer names. Tyler. Down to Billy. And again, number one's going to get the Tua Tug by Little Mini Helmet. Number two's going to get the Alan, uh, Alan Young autograph. And it is a two and a three for five times, guys. Five times. Good luck. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. 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 Five times. So Anthony P. At number two, you're going to get that Alan Young. And Dean, who bought in straight up. There you go. After five times. Congratulations. You won the two at Togo Mini helmet. Send that out to you guys. Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com.